Hi everyone, hope you're all well and had a good week and welcome to another six round pub quiz. If it's your first time here then welcome to my channel, a real easy game to play, six round pub quiz. I'll explain all the rules and the rounds as we go along. I just recommend if you'd like to play and keep track of your score, as many people do, probably go and get yourself a pen and paper, makes it a whole lot easier. So we'll begin the quiz by revealing the answer to last week's tiebreaker. The question was, out of 60, what will my team score at our local pub quiz? 31 disaster and I thought my bowling score was bad the lowest we've scored for ages it just went against us we didn't know uh, quite a few of the categories and wiped out but yeah hang my head in shame uh, Quizmaster Dale will just be known as Dale from now on I have to drop the Quizmaster after that but anyway so uh, the tiebreaker did make a huge difference to the leaderboard this week which we'll look at now these are all the single players everybody who finished between first and tenth and there you go, just over 21,000 players. So really, really good job if you made it onto that list. Uh, first place is Amber with an incredible 69 world on Amber. And joint second place is Corey and Louise, both with a brilliant 65. So well done to you, well done to everybody. And a big thank you to all the single players who played, liked, shared, and commented on the video. Really is appreciated. So we look at the teams. Everybody who finished between first and 10th, and there you go. What a bunch of brilliant scores. Well done to everybody. First place, Golden Wolf. Uh, aced it with 70. Well done to you. Second place, Stand and Deliver. And Rob, third place, Rob and Danielle, both with 69. Great quizzing. Well done to you all. And a big thank you to all the teams who played, liked, shared, and commented on the video. Again, really, really is appreciated. So just before we begin, there's a few shout outs to do. I'll start by wishing Baba Kanoush a very happy birthday, also known as Amy. Happy birthday to you, Amy. Have a lovely weekend. Happy 21st birthday to Dave. Happy birthday, Dave. Bit of a milestone. Hope you're having lots of fun. 21, I'm sure you are. Happy 19th birthday to Ben. Happy birthday to you, Ben. Have a lovely weekend. Hope uni's going well. Happy 30th birthday to Shona. Another big milestone. Happy birthday, happy birthday Shona. Sorry. Have a lovely, lovely time. Happy birthday, uh, Kim Selby. Happy birthday to you, Kim. Again, I hope you have a lovely weekend and a happy 66th birthday to John. Happy birthday, John. Have a lovely, lovely weekend. I also want to say hello to all at number 61 Egerton Road. Hello to you all. Thank you for all the times you play. Good luck in tonight's quiz. I want to say hello to Linda, Derek, Matt and Kiara, who play every Tuesday from the UK. Another group of their family play every Wednesday in Minnesota. So a bit of rivalry there. I hope you win. Um, yeah, and enjoy tonight's quiz. I also want to say hello to Layla, Tony and Sharon. Hello to you all. Have a nice weekend. Good luck in the quiz. I want to say congratulations to Hayden, who's buying his first house in February. Very exciting times. Well done, Hayden. And I hope you enjoy it. I'm sure you will. And the last one, I want to say a big hello to everybody at Aldenborn at Market Makerspace Quizzes. Hello to you all. Thank you for all the times you play and good luck in the quiz. So that's the end of the shout outs. Let's begin this week's quiz. So moving on to this week's quiz, no surprises, six rounds. Round one is a picture round. Round two is an entertainment round. Round three this week is a music videos round. That is the double points round. Round four is the connections round. Round five is a sport round. And the final round is a general knowledge round. I will give you answers after round two, after round four, and after the final round. As always, I hope you enjoy and good luck. So round one is the picture round. There are 10 pictures of famous people, places, etc. And you have around 14 seconds for each. Number one, can you name this TV or movie star? Number two, who is this from the world of music? Number three, can you name the year this incredible result happened? Which is Brazil one, Germany seven. Number four, who is this a picture of from when they were young? They were young, sorry. Uh, there's a clue, he is from TV. Number five, name the game. It was incredibly addictive. Number 
number six, who's in disguise? Number seven, pictogram. Can you get this sporting phrase? Number eight, name the city. Number nine, name the film. And the last one, number 10, what is this a close up of? So round two is the entertainment round. There are 10 questions and you have around 15 seconds for each. Number one, who played Alfred in Christopher Nolan's Batman trilogy? Number two, which wrestler played Thunderlips in the 1982 film Rocky III? Number three, put on my blue suede shoes and I boarded the plane. Touched down in the land of the Delta Blues in the middle of the pouring rain. And the opening lyrics to which song? Number four, can you name the cartoon that these characters were in? Number five, Ben Stiller played White Goodman in which 2004 comedy film? Number six, Chester Bennington was the lead singer of which band until his death in 2017? Number seven, which instrument does Lisa play in The Simpsons? Number eight, which fictional detective lives at 56B Whitehaven Mansions? Number nine, I Want to Be Like You and Monkey Chase are songs in which Disney film? And the last one, number 10. What was the title of the last ever Carry On film? Carry On Cook or Carry On Columbus? So that's the end of the first two rounds. We will now go through the answers and round three and four will follow immediately after. So the answers to round one, number one, this TV or movie star is Paul Rudd. Number two from the world of music 
Which one is it? That is Noel Gallagher. Number three. Did you manage to name the year that uh, Germany beat Brazil 7-1? That was in 2014. Incredible. Number four. Who is this a picture of from when they were young? That is a young David Attenborough. Number five. Did you manage to name the game? I used to love this game. It is Snake. And number six. Who's in disguise? That is Ryan Reynolds. Number seven. The sporting phrase. A hole in one. Number eight. The city. It's the city of Kuala Lumpur. Number nine, the film. The film is Face Off. Which leaves number ten, the close up. It's a close up of nail clippers. Or nail clipper, sorry. So the answers for round two. Number one, who played Alfred in Christopher Nolan's Batman trilogy? He was played by Michael Caine. Number two, which wrestler played Thunderlips in the 1982 film Rocky III? He's played by Hulk Hogan. Number three, these are the opening lyrics. Two, when he gets there, walking in Memphis. Number four, these characters are in the cartoon Dora the Explorer. Number five, Ben Stiller played White Goodman in which a 2004 comedy film, Dodgeball. Number six, Chester Bennington was the lead singer of which band until his death in 2017, it was Lincoln Park. Number seven, which instrument does Lisa play in The Simpsons? She plays the saxophone. Number eight, which fictional detective lives at 56B Whitehaven Mansions? That is Hercule Poirot. Number nine, I want to be like you and Monkey Chase are songs in which Disney film? They're in The Jungle Book. Which leaves number ten, what was the title of the last ever Carry On film? Carry On Cook or Carry On Columbus? It is Carry On Columbus. So round three is the music videos round. This is a round where there are two points available per question, so 20 points up for grabs, the way that it works. Really easy, you will see a picture taken from a music video, you'll get one point if you can tell me the artist or the band, another point if you can name the song. I've given you around 20 seconds for each one. There's some well-known ones in here, but I think a few are quite tricky. So even if you're good with your music, Anything sort of above 14, you've done very well. Anyway, I hope you enjoy and good luck.
Round four is the connections round. In this round, you will see four questions. You'll get one point for every correct answer that you give, and then something links the answers to those four questions. If you can find that connection, you will get another point. There are five points available. Now you see, you have around 16 seconds per question, and at the end, you see all four questions on your screen, and you have around 25 seconds to try and come up with that connection. If you need longer, pause the video, give yourself a minute or two, and if you haven't got it then, then move on. I hope you enjoy, and good luck finding that connection. So number one, according to the days of creation in the Bible, when were land animals created? Number two, which range of football boots by Adidas were the first to have rubber patches or strips at the top of the shoe, which was designed to increase friction with the ball? Number three, what do Matt and Luke Goss, Ronnie and Reggie Cray, and Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen have in common? And the last one, number four, what word could be given to a special forces slash mercenary soldier or leaving the house wearing no underwear? Not in this weather. <laughs> Actually, not in any weather, just to <laughs> make sure I'm clear on that. So what connects the answers to these four questions? So the answer to round three, the music video is round number one. The band is Outcast, And the song is Heya. So a point if you said Outcast and a point if you said Heya. Number two, difficult one this one. It's by Elton John. And the song is I Want Love. Number three, I'm sure you all got the band. It's of course Queen. And the song is Radio Gaga. Number four, that is Katy Perry. The song is Raw. And number five, I'm sure you all got this man, Michael Jackson. The song is Beat It. Oh, Beat It, sorry, Billie Jean. Number six, now, it's the uh, the man or the group, I'm not sure it's called PSY. And the song, I'm sure you got, is Gangnam Style. Number seven. Uh, <laughs> number seven is by The Simpsons. The song is Do The Bart Man. I did this at a talent show once. I was very young, but yeah, very embarrassing. <laughs> number eight, a real tricky one, this one. The, the band is Fall Out Boy. And the song's called Sugar, We're Going Down. I love that song. Number nine, number nine, that is Vanessa Colton. And the song is A Thousand Miles. And number 10, the last one is Pharrell Williams. And the song is Happy. Really, really well done if you got most of those. So the answers to the connections round number one, according to the days of creation in the Bible, when were, when were land animals created? On the sixth day. Number two, which range of football boots by Adidas were the first to have rubber patches or strips on the top of the shoe? That is the Adidas Predator. Number three, what do Matt, Lu Matt and Luke Goss, Ronnie and Reggie Cray and Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen all have in common? They are twins. Number four, what word could be given to a special forces slash mercenary soldier or leaving the house wearing no underwear? That is Commando, going Commando. So, uh, what links Sixth Day, Predator, Twins and Commando? They are all Arnold Schwarzenegger films. Really well done if you got that connection.
That's the end of round four. I hope you enjoyed those rounds and you managed to find that connection. So last week there wasn't a connections round, there was a pictogram round instead, which got wonderful feedback. So from now on, I'm gonna alternate. One week will be a connections rounds, the next week will be a pictograms rounds. Uh, they're actually my two favorite rounds to make as well, so I, I'm quite pleased, quite pleased to do that. Also, if you are a fan of the connections rounds, any week that I haven't done it in this quiz, if you look at my Facebook group, which is called Quizmaster Dale, any week there's no connections rounds, I will make one and put it on that group for everybody who enjoys it to have a go at. Anyway, we're now going to round five and six. The answers will follow immediately after and there will be a tie break at the end, so watch out for that. Round five is a sports round, all about NFL teams. I can hear some of you now thinking, oh my God, I know nothing about NFL. I don't know much myself, to be honest, but it's not as bad as it sounds. All you have to do, I say all you have to do, what you have to do in the middle and left-hand section of your screen, you're gonna see the names of cities or states. And on the right-hand side of your screen, you're gonna see the names of the teams. You just need to match the correct team name to the correct city or state. So I'll give you a basketball example. There's the Chicago Bulls. So I'm sure you've all, all heard of those. That's all you have to do. Now you have two minutes for the entire round. If you need longer, it's one of those rounds, you can just pause it Take it back, take as long as you need to pick your 10 and then move on. Best of luck. Round six, the final round is general knowledge. There are 10 questions and you have around 15 seconds for each. Number one, who wrote the novel Animal Farm? Number two, the Danube flows through four European capital cities. Name any two of them. Sorry if you can hear some background noise. God knows what they got on the telly. Number three. What is the only vitamin not found in an egg? Number four, what color is a gemstone jet? Number five, 
Number five. In what year was the first hot air balloon flight? Now you can be 15 years above or below with your guess. Not an easy one. Number six. What is the third largest planet in our solar system? Number seven. Don Bradman, Viv Richards and Sachin Tendulkar are famous names in which sport? Number eight. The Dong is a currency of which Asian country? Number nine. Chionophobia is a fear of which type of weather, rain or snow? And the last one, number 10. Still haven't fixed this. There we go. Which ocean has the highest average surface temperature? The answers are round five. The sports round number one is the Dallas Cowboys. Number two is the Atlanta Falcons. Number three, Denver Broncos. Number four, the Baltimore Ravens. Number five, Miami, probably the easiest one, Miami Dolphins. Number six is the New York Giants. Number seven is the Philadelphia Eagles. Number eight is the Los Angeles Rams. Number nine is the Arizona Cardinals, which leaves number 10 as the Cincinnati Bengals. If you're not from the US and you got most of those, really well done. The answers round six. Number one, who wrote the novel, excuse me, who wrote the novel Animal Farm? It was written by George Orwell. Number two, the Danube flows through four European capital cities. Name any two. This was a tricky one. So if you said Belgrade, Bratislava, Budapest and Vienna, any two of those, you have the point. And very well done. Number three, what is the only vitamin not found in an egg? It is vitamin C. Number four, what colour is the gemstone jet? It is Black or dark brown? So if you put black or brown, give yourself the point. Number five, in what year was the first hot air balloon uh, flight? It was in 1783. So anywhere between 1768 or 1789, give yourself the point and a big pat on the back. Number six, what is the third largest planet in our solar system? That is Uranus. Number seven, Don Bradman, Viv Richards and Sachin Tendulkar are famous names in cricket. <clears throat> number nine, uh, number nine, number eight, sorry. The dong is a currency of Vietnam. Number nine, chinophobia is a fear of what type of weather, which type of weather? It is snow. And the last one, number 10. Which ocean has the highest average surface temperature? It is the Indian Ocean. So now for this week's tiebreaker, remember when you post your score, please add your tiebreaker guess. It could make all the difference. So the tiebreaker this week, how many views will this video get by midnight Friday? So that's six days of it being, being out. How many views will this video get by midnight Friday? Good luck with your guess. 
that's the end of the quiz. A really big thank you for playing. I do hope you had fun. If you did enjoy it, please click that like button. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe and you won't miss any future videos. So I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, a lovely week, whatever you do. I'm going to rent that film, uh, Napoleon, tonight. I saw it, it was on Virgin Media. So that's my little weekend treat. But thanks again for playing and see you next week.